and welcome to a, another review. This time we're reviewing Millie Bobby Brown. Well, a book about her, anyway. So, let's take a look at the uh, front cover. So, this is a Beacon biography of Millie Bobby Brown by Nicole K. R. Or, or Nicole K. Or. I can't. I can't. Pronounce her name. Um, a big biography of Miss Robbie Brown ever since she became famous for her role in her hit tenor, no, Netflix series Stranger Things audience have been wondering about the actor Millie Bobby Brown up until her being cast into the creepy TV show almost no one was, well, had heard Brown's name before this wasn't because she had other dreams besides acting in fact there was very little Brown wanted to do more than act she put all of her tears into it. Her family put all of their money into it. In the end, it paid off. Millie Bobby Brown became a star. This is by Purple Toad Publishing, and I bought this for what thirteen pounds. Um, uh, hopefully, it should be going lower because it's not really a big book. And uh, I just bought this because it all came from, well, it come from America to be fair, and uh, it's kind of limited, I think. Well, I thought it was limited, but uh, no, not, not as I see it yet. So here we have the face of Millie Bobby Brown. Uh, this is the um, San Diego Comic Con 2017, where she did a hair up. And yes, I am a very strange person. Um, there are other types of Beacon biographies. Tom Holland, Stephen Curry, Stephen Colbert, Gal Gadot, Publishing Data, Congress, Publishers Note, auth about the author, contents that you get in the book, and other things. Again, we got a picture of them from San Diego Comic Con 2017. Uh, I'll only just read you the uh, lines. So you got Millie Bobby Brown and Finn Wolfhard were lucky to be at the 2017 San Diego Comic Con. The Brett Duffer brothers turned down hundreds of kids, actors, before choosing Millie and Finn to play Eleven and Mike. And you've got Sadie there too. So this is chapter one. Stranger Things than First Kisses. So you've got a bit of information about the show and all that. Great pictures again. Well, Millie hasn't had the chance to play a Disney princess yet. She does have little princess fans. And you got a brilliant photo of the Duffers with Joe Kerry behind, and just well, a very badly picture of Natalia Dyer. The Duffer brothers might be very popular at Comic Cons now, but their show Strange Things was actually turned down by more than 15 networks before Netflix made their right choice. Two years and eleven Emmy nominations later, it looks like the Duffers were right. So yes, you got chapter two, the history about Millie Bobby Brown and what she did before she became famous. So you got Millie at five years old singing the song Valerie and the area of Spain where she grew up. In this piece here. Um, again, more pictures, well, a lot of information there about the stuff she was in and what she got up to. Millie once interrupted an interview with GQ so she could show an editor some boxing moves. See? Things you didn't know. Again, a picture from San Diego Comic Con. Millie was one of 308 other girls who auditioned for the role of Eleven in Stranger Things. Chapter 3, The Price of show business and page 14 got more information and uh, a couple of pictures here Eleven might be a serious girl but Millie likes to have fun once she pranked called her costume designer yeah called off the wedding apparently um, on this side we've got because of how many acting jobs she's getting now Millie tells people she doesn't live in any in any one place she lives on airplanes. Got information about Ross Duffer and how she, how they come across Millie Bobby Brown. Uh, references to the movie E.T. and 
things that she had to watch before going into role as 11. So we've got information here. So when Mustafa told Millie she'd have to shave her head to play 11, he said to think of when actor Charlie's Theron was in the movie Mad Max Fury Road. The actress shaved her head and ended up creating a whole memorable character. So, chapter 4, following her other dreams. Um, the Duffer Brothers wondered if the young main actors of Stranger Things could be friends in real life and on the screen. If the actors performed the song Uptown Funk at the 68th Emmy Awards is anything to judge. There's nothing to worry about and um, there are brilliant singing on that. Uh, I highly recommend going to YouTube, clicking in um, Uptown Funk sang by Stranger Things cast. And uh, yeah, you'd get some fun out of that. Um, more information again. No matter how many famous people she meets on movie sets and in music videos, Millie never gets too shy to have a good time. More photos. Millie and Monona. So here you've got Millie and Monona riders. They're great friends, even away from the cameras. In fact, Millie often joins Monona for lunch and sometimes goes surfing with Monona's boyfriend. So there you go, there's some information that we never knew. So on the side you've got, when Stranger Things won the Screen Actors Guild Award to Best Ensemble in the Drama Series, Millie did more than celebrate, she named the trophy Jeff. So uh, yes, she's officially got a trophy called uh, Jeff, uh, but you didn't know that one either. So yeah, Chapter 5, Making Friends. Uh, Millie is close to many other co-stars, including David Harper. Some great photos for in that one. And we go to some more pictures in her brilliant dress. And the future shows she's going to be on, like uh, Netflix, and shows that she did want to be on, like The Walking Dead. And I should why did I say Netflix a minute ago? I meant Godzilla. Sorry, he's got to me. Uh, Millie will do almost anything for her fan base once she shows up to a 16th birthday party of one of her fans. There you go. Don't know. Don't care. But she turns up anyway. And then you've got... Chronology and Filmography as well as chapter notes. 2004, Millie Bobby Brown is born in Mal Malaga. Malaga, Malaga, Spain on February 19th, 2008. Million Walls at the Pokestown Community Primary School in Bournemouth. People are confused in Bournemouth and Barmouth, I noticed. Um, on a YouTube video. Um, Barmouth is a totally different place to Bournemouth. Uh, look it up, guys. Um, I'm from Barmouth, not Bournemouth. But, you know, similar names, similar towns. Uh, the Brown family moved to the United States, settling in Orlando, Florida, in 2011. You can't really see this from the book, can you, because I'm too far away from the camera, but this is what I'm reading. Um, yes, 2019, Godzilla, King of Monsters, and apparently she's going to be in King Kong vs. Godzilla. Yes, I have heard a rumour that King Kong vs. Godzilla is also going to contain Millie Bobby Brown as the same character. So, um, interesting. Um, 2016, 2017, Stranger Things, music video, Find Me. She's also in Maroon 5's music video, and she's also in another music video, I find, but they haven't put them on here. Modern Family, Grey's Anatomy, Intruders, We've got that in the background, the book. I've also got the DVD. NCIS, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. And yeah, like I said, there's 32 pages of literally everything Millie Bobby Brown. So, if you are a, a Millie Bobby Brown fan, I highly recommend getting the Beacon Biography of a Millie Bobby Brown by Nicole K. Orr. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future video. Goodbye.